Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got the new Mod Heroes promo currently in the game. Now you guys might have seen my video yesterday going over the entire Mod Hero player database I guess you can call it, the player batch. Uh, so basically today we are getting 16 Mod Heroes, then the remainder of them will be spread out over the course of the next upcoming week, including some coming out on, i trying to remember here, I think it's Monday? Tuesday? No, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I want to say. I can't remember exactly which dates. Basically, they're coming out, and I'll have videos every single day that they're going to be out. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I do know there are some coming out Friday, Thursday, and I can't remember the other two days, but I think it's Monday and Wednesday, I want to say. But we do have some Mud Hero solo challenges, as you guys can see. Now, of course, at 140 stars, you get an NAT Hero Fantasy Pack. But, they also were announcing that they will be having a house event probably out on Tuesday, and they were saying the reward might just be, it's, it's gonna be, an NAT Hero Fantasy Pack as well. Now, of course, once you guys get this pack, uh, you can't actually get the Solo Challenge Pack until Wednesday, so you do have to wait into that. There's literally not enough stars for you guys to go ahead and get just yet, but on Wednesday, you'll be able to go ahead and get as many stars as you possibly need to get the NAT Hero Fantasy Pack. And you can choose any hero, even ones that are not currently in the game that have not been released yet. You'll have all 32. So that's pretty nice. So expect a video from me literally right after this going over my rankings of all 32 Mud Heroes. I want to give you guys an idea, an idea of what who I think you guys should pick. And you guys can let me know down below, of course, as well. I've been having a lot of people ask me to make the video. You guys already know. Make those videos every single promo. So, with that being said, we also have some new packs in the store, and hopefully, it's actually here, which it actually is. We have the Heroic Bundle. It contains 24 Metropolis packs, two random sidekicks, a uh, fantasy pack of all 85 to 86 sidekicks, and a fantasy pack of all 80 to 80 ones. I am going to be opening up this for you guys today, so make sure you guys drop a like on the video, of course. Uh, we also have this uh, 85 to 86 sidekick fantasy pack i'm not gonna open that just yet i'm gonna wait and see if i actually like need that now the metropolis packs guarantee you an 80 plus overall mud hero 171 plus overall go to better and 362 plus silver or better there's also training packs for sidekicks and even a hero pack as well kind of cool there now, of course, if you guys are curious to see, uh, by the way, Kyler Murray just got a rookie premier upgrade today, so he's actually in up to an 80 overall for anyone that has him. There's nine offensive and seven defensive players in the game, so we have players like David uh, DeCastro, you guys see it's Vance McDonald, Alejandro Villanueva, and you need a bunch of sidekicks to go ahead and complete his set. I also have David Bakhtiari, Mitch Morse, Greg Olson, Jason Witten. I want you guys to comment down below. Who do you guys want to see gameplay with? Because I will drop at least one gameplay today and probably some more over the weekend. So let me know down below who you guys want to see gameplay with out of all the players that we have. Uh, of course, we have Matt Stafford, David Johnson, Cooks, Thielen. I'm super mad about Jason Wynn. Honestly, wanted Zeke so bad. Greg Olson, Mitch Morris, David Bakhtiari, and David DeCastro. Now, of course, defensively, we have LaMarcus Joyner, Chris Harris, Xavier Howard, Bobby Wagner, Matthew Judon, Deron Payne, and Melvin Ingram. Now, as a Cowboys fan, obviously, I, I love Jason Wynn, but... I want, you have no idea how bad I wanted Zeke for this promo. We also have the 80 to 81 overall Mud Hero Sidekicks and 85 to 86 Mud Hero Sidekicks as well. With that being said, let's get into these packs. So with these fantasy packs, you basically get to pick any single sidekick player that you guys want. Uh, I don't really know who I actually want to go with for a sidekick. I don't think this pack actually matters to you, which the animation is actually pretty dang cool. I'm really hoping we get to see that animation with the full players. You can see there's Jonathan Hankins, Eric Rowe, uh, Justin Simmons, Bradley McDougald, uh, Brandon Carr, Montez Sweat. I don't think there's any more Ricky Ramirez strictly besides Kyler Murray, which you guys can see Kyler Murray has got 86 speed on him, 84 throw power, pretty bad throwing stats besides that. Uh, I guess I'm going to go with Michael Gallup. Just because I'm a Cowboys fan, I'll probably end up getting Jason Witten done, even if I'm going to have him as a blocker. 85 speed on Gallup. Gotta say, I love that, man. He's, he's been doing amazing. We also have an 85 to 86 overall sidekick pack. Now, this one actually does matter, so I'm not going to actually use this, but I do want to show you guys all the sidekicks. Uh, I'm just waiting to see what you guys actually want to see in terms of what players you want for gameplay. Comment down below. I'll just pick that player with that one. Uh, we do have two random 85 to 86 overall sidekicks, though, so let's get into these packs. 
as we get 86 to Eric Wolf. That's not bad. So we can add that to Chris Harris if I want to get his set done, which I don't really think I care to get his set done. We'll have to see, though. And the next random 85 to 86 sidekick player is going to be 86, or 85, actually, Brian O'Neill. So if I want to get the Vikings done... I can also get Adam Thielen. Now let's get into these Metropolis packs. Let's see how good they're going to be. As we start with an 81 overall, Justin Simmons, a full legend, 88 Kevin Mawai. Okay, I'll take it. I really didn't expect much besides the uh, Muddy Arrow player. We get ourselves an 80 overall, Kyler Murray there. A 71 Bryce Love. I'd imagine that the majority of packs, right, you're you're probably just going to get the Muddy Arrow player. That's kind of how Muddy Arrow packs have always been uh, in years past, but you might get lucky. And pull a full one. We get 80 overall Eric Rowe there. All we really need to do is get a couple of sidekicks, 85, 86, as I'd imagine they're going to be going for yeah, a solid amount, nothing crazy. Uh, we get 85 tier while he had. That's a good pull right there. 80 speed on him. Maybe they're going for like 50k each, 60k each, potentially. I'm not really sure exactly what their prices are going for right now. We get 80 overall Kyler Murray right there as well. And of course, we did get uh, one Kevin Moy, so I can't really complain. 76 Tom Brady. 85 Devon Godchow. I will take it. Any pack that we end up getting a Mutt Hero player, like an 85 or 86 sidekick, that, that's a dub. That's a big fat W. We get an 80 overall Montez Sweat, who's got 86 speed, by the way. That's pretty dang good on that card, honestly. 86 speed for an 80 overall. Very, very good budget card. We get ourselves 80 overall Billy Turner. Let's see, we're 82 strength on him. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we get at least, you know, one full month player. I, I would love to get at least one full month hero. 80 overall, Eric Rowe. Okay, 73 overall, Brian O'Neill. If we don't end up getting a full month hero player here, I might just do one of the month hero player packs just to try and see what the animation actually looks like. I do have enough training to actually do one as we get 80 overall, Josh Klein in that pack. And besides that... You're not going to get much else. Next, Metropolis pack here. We do get another full legend. 86, Alan Page. Man, we are getting the high legends. I will definitely take those. Uh, we also get another 81 overall, Michael Gallup right there. Next pack, Metropolis starting it off with 80 overall, Eric Rowe. All right, so, so far we've gotten majority of them have been, you know, just the 80s, 81s. Kind of expected with this bundle. This really isn't the most exciting bundle to open up as we get 86 Alejandro going away but that's another great pull there because that does go to a 91 overall player so as was an imagine probably gonna go for just just slightly more you know than the other ones and our player here is gonna be 80 overall Devin Singletary I really wish the Bills were using more I think he was actually injured for a little bit though we get 80 overall Devin Singletary again of course I said I want the Bills to use him more and they throw him my way so that I can use him more where are they at I actually get quite a few goals in this pack and ended off with an 81 overall Justin Simmons. I don't even know what the full Mud Hero animation actually looks like as the 81 overall Brandon Carr. So far, I, I really can't tell the difference between the 80s to 81s and the 85s to 86s. I'm pretty sure the same exact animations. 80 overall Tariq Cohen there. We also get an 80 overall Billy Turner. I think it's actually a really, really cool pack animation, but I really wish that we could see what the big boy pack animation looks like. 80 overall Eric Bro there as well. Next Metropolis pack. What are we going to get? Okay, so it looks like probably another 80. 81 overall Uchenna Nwosu. Hopefully I said his name right. That's a pretty hard name to say, I'd say. Next Metropolis pack. Again, it's going to be another 80 to 81. Oh, actually, no, 86 Marlon Humphrey. 87 speed on him. It's actually a pretty solid card. I wonder if he has uh, the choke ability. I'm going to have to see about that. Next, <laughs> next Metropolis pack. We get ourselves 80 overall Devin Singletary again. We are now down to the final Metropolis pack. And you guys can see it's, uh, it's interesting, right? It's an interesting bundle. I really wasn't expecting much. We actually get two Mud Heroes here. I'm going to be honest. I really wasn't expecting that much out of the bundle. Except for a couple 85 86s. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and do a full Mud Hero pack. Just to see what the animation looks like. And maybe we'll get lucky and actually get a 91. But let's see real quick how much is 86 are going for. 50k. Okay, so going about 50k. I mean, we might have made like a cool little 500k off the bundle just because we actually got kind of lucky with 85 86s plus one couple full legends. But now let's go ahead. What is this? Test. I don't, know, I don't know why it's saying test right there. Uh, but we do have a random 991 overall hero. Let's get into it. Let's see what this animation looks like. And can we get a good one? It's literally the same animation. 91 Chris Harris. 
I'll take it. So we got a 91 overall Chris Harris Jr., 87 speed. Do I want to keep him on the squad? I mean, he's better than Gilmore. I might use him for now. I might have to hold on to that card and actually use him, but it looks like the animation is actually like the, the same exact. So it's really nothing different there. But that was Chris Harris Jr., solid card. Let's go hit the auction block now, and I'll show you guys the rest of these Mutt Hero stats. I was honestly hoping that it would be, you know, something, something a little bit better. Kind of a just simple, simple little animation there. Nothing really special. Matthew Judon's 180 K. He's got 88 power moves, 79 speed, 85 excel, 84 strength. Mitch Morris has got 82 run block, 87 pass block, 89 strength. These guys are cheap. Matt Stafford's 220. Uh, he's got 90 throw power, 86 short, 82 medium, 84 deep, 72 speed on him. Uh, we also have Deron Payne up on the auction block. He's currently going for, well, Yes, on the price. 92 strength, 84 block shed, 78 power move. Not very good of a pass rusher. David Johnson. What's he looking like compared to Dalvin Cook? Okay, 88 speed, 88 excel, 86 carry, 68 catch, 85 trucking. What's his spin and juke, though? 86 sniff arm, 92 juke, 81 spin. I like it. He can probably get evasive chemistry. Not a bad card. Adam Thielen, 239,000 coins. What are you cooking with, Thielen? Uh, 86 speed, 87 jumping, 90 catch, 86 catch in traffic, 90 spec catch, solid route running as well on him. Uh, we got my man JW, Jason Witten, slow as heck, but 74 speed, 92 catching, 90 catch in traffic, 78 run blocking. Compared to Zach Ertz, though, I mean, 80 excel. Eh, I, might, I might pick him up and replace Zach Ertz and just to have Jason Witten out there. Better run blocker for sure. Uh, and in terms of catching, yeah, he's a lot better catch. So, like, goal line and run blocking. Might have to get Jason Witten. Xavier Howard is actually one that I wanted to see. We compared to Chris Harris here. 90 speed, 90 excel, 88 jumping, 89 zone, 86 press, with 86 agility. I was really thinking about getting this card because of the speed being at a 90. Definitely pretty good. Uh, Greg Olson here. Let's see how he compares to Shannon Sharp. He's got 82 speed, 68 strength, 93 catch, 93 catch traffic, 92 spec catch, 86 short. Wow, it's actually a really good card. Uh, his run block's just a little bit low, but honestly, really, really good. Uh, 86 jump is actually better. And he's 6'5". I might actually pick up this Greg Olson card. That's a really, really good card. I might have to look into getting that Greg Olson because he is way better. Uh, the Shannon Sharp, in my opinion, besides the run blocking. David Bakhtiari, 87 strength, 90 awareness, 91 pass block. Uh, full work, or finesse, with a 77 run blocking. You gotta have run block to make my squad. He is not gonna make my team. Melvin Ingram, he's coming in with a 94 finesse move. Holy crap. 78 speed, 84 excel. Only an 80 block shed. Well, one heck of a passer. He should be, like, insane. Uh, Brandon Cook's currently over 290. He's got 91 speed with 82 jumping, 85 spec catch, 84 catch traffic, 88 excel. Oh, man, the excel's a little bit low on Brandon Cook's, honestly. A uh, little bit low acceleration, in my opinion. Uh, he does have a spin and juke of 71 and 75. Was that all the players, I believe? Oh, no, we have the Marcus Joyner here, 86 speed with 82 hit power, 90 zone coverage. Compared to Calvin Johnson, little comparison there. Of course, the height is huge. I mean, he's literally five foot eight. Bobby Wagner currently going for like 340k, 83 speed, 84 excel, but he's got 92 sackling, 91 play rec, 83 block shed, 91 hit power. He's got an 80 agility, 66 catching, and an 87 jumping on him. And besides that, okay, but David DeCastro here, which he's probably way better than Larry Allen, right? Wow. Okay, so I'm probably going to pick up David DeCastro because he is a much, much better right guard than Larry Allen. So I'll probably pick up DeCastro today. Um, I think that's it. So I think that's all the mud here today. So let me know down below what you guys want to see gameplay with. Who do you want to see gameplay with? That was a Mud Hero bundle and, of course, a full Mud Hero player pack as well. Uh, we will be getting a free Mud Hero player on Wednesday. Expect a ranking video after you guys. Later today, I'll be going over which Mud Hero I think you guys should pick up for your free players. And, of course, comment down below who you guys want to see gameplay with. Maybe Brandon Cooks, maybe Greg Olson, maybe Bobby Wagner. Let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.